Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down Arena, and it has been a minute since we've played some Merfolk over the weekend. We've been uploading a lot of the Booster Kraken videos. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed that. We've had some cool polls, so if you haven't checked out those videos, I'll leave a link in the comments. Go ahead and check those out. But today, we are doing something different. We are moving out of best of one. We are going to start playing best of three traditional play, and what better way to start it all off with a Nikachu deck list for some mono blue Merfolk. He posted over Twitter and Instagram the other day this deck list that he came out with uh, for Mono Blue Merfolk, uh, redo of the version that he was playing before, quite different. Uh, obviously we got some of the same characters, but we're looking at a different meta now, so this is what we have. Uh, he had one difference than I do. I end up switching around one other thing, so I'll go through the deck list with you guys really quick. We got our four Benthic Biomancers, four Miss Cloak Heralds. Four Silver Guild Depths, four Chart, of course. Uh, we're all about drawing the cards here, and we don't have Curious Obsession in this deck list, so the Chart, of, chart of course, is going to draw us two cards and then discard unless you attacked with a creature this turn. Uh, I feel like, for the most part, we are going to be attacking, so we should be able to not discard that extra card. Uh, one new addition to the Merfolk thing is Nabeen, Dean of Iteration. He's been in Merfolk list before, but he's kind of been out of the picture for a while so it might be time for him to come back in he triggers uh wizards when they come into the battlefield we're playing with pretty much all wizards here uh for the most part we've got four tricksters four water trap weavers four deep root waters and two seafloor or oracles which draws a card every time a merfolk we control deals combat damage to a player 22 islands and the biggest difference is nikachu's list was running four shaper's apprentice was which is the 2-1 with flying if you control another merfolk on the battlefield. I think river sneak is much more powerful in this deck. I, I need to test it out. Maybe I'm wrong in this assumption. Shaper's Apprentice is a 2-1. It's just as weak as far as defense go uh, with the river sneak, but river sneak sky's the limit for how big it can grow. And if we're playing four deep root waters in this build, that's going to trigger river sneak a ton. It's going to benefit us way more than I think uh, Shaper's Apprentice will. That's why I included River Sneak. I'm going to test it out that way. That's my own take on the deck as far as changes go. Uh, and now that we're playing best of three, we've got to have a sideboard. So my sideboard's not as clean as Nikachu's. Uh, in his list, he had four Kazmina Transmutation, um, four Negates, four Wizard Retort, two Kazminas. Um, and then he had... Or did he have three Kazminas? He might have had three Kazminas and then four, yes. So he had four Kazminas, four Negates, four Wizards, and then three Kazmina Planeswalkers wasn't his. I'm all out of uh, stuff for the most part, so... Actually, I just... Oh, what'd I do? I just got some more? Alright, I just unlocked some more. So I can clean up this list a little bit, a little bit more, but we'll run this for now. Uh, I can grab a couple more Negates, but uh, Spell Pierce... Two Negates, two Spell Pierce, and one Rivers Rebuke. Uh, I'll probably keep that in there too. I think it might come in handy with some of the control stuff that's happening, uh, but we'll see. So, yeah, not the cleanest sideboard. Uh, I need to work on it a little bit more, but we're going to run it as is. And we are going to jump into playing some traditional ranked. So, let's see what we do. I haven't even played this, like, at all on Arena, so I haven't unlocked my Spark Guy or anything. None of the Mastery has been started, and I believe that's how you unlock it, just by playing best of three. So let's see how we can do here on this. This is a good hand. We'll keep this. And if you hear my son singing in the background, that is my son singing in the background. So they mulliganed, and they played Sapland. All right. Let's, uh... Start off with Miss Cloak. And if I get wrecked, I get wrecked. I'm out of practice. I haven't done best of three in a while. So we'll see how it goes here. Uh, let's swing first. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and play another Mist Cloak. We're going to wait on Nabeen. And we'll play Ben. There's nothing we got to hold up for one mana, so we might as well put it out. So probably is it Phoenix? Is it Drake's? Is what we're up against, more than likely. 
Yep, definitely. So we need a way to deal with that. Trickster is going to be good next turn. Uh, I believe we're going to probably have to hold it up for that. But we're free to swing in for three here. They're not going to block with Electromancer. Be pretty foolish of them. Okay, they are. All right, well, we'll beef them up and we'll trade. Probably drop the Seafloor Oracle just because we're pretty far away from it right now. We're going to take him out. I'm just going to jump start. I don't know if they didn't realize I could buff him up, but I mean, I'm happy with an Electromancer trade. Makes complete sense. Yep, we'll get rid of Oracle. Deep Root Waters is going to be good. We're just going to draw into our next island. Got my phone going off. Everything's happening in the background. So that works for me. We were going to trickster it at beginning of upkeep just so they didn't get the triggers off of it, the, the ability. So maybe they're fine with trading because they have another one in hand, but either way, that was kind of weird that they went that route. Alright, so we got a planeswalker on the battlefield. They can create servo tokens. Okay. Well, we're still running short. Stuff here. Negative two. We can hit them for three. All right, well, we're going to swing in on this. And we'll play a Silver Gill. We'll show them... Uh... We'll show them Water Trap. Another River Sneak. We need lands. Opting. Thopters are coming in. Shocking. It's good static ability. Plenty of shocks to go around. Alright, cleaning my board up one by one. Uh, and there comes the Phoenix. But we have a trickster to deal with that. Uh, Alright, so let's make it so she goes away if they use the ability here, and we'll hold the Trickster for their turn on the attack. Pass to them. Kind of getting mana screwed, though. We need to be uh, on the rebound here a little bit. We'll try this, but I feel like he's probably going to get shot out of the, out of the battlefield here. Maybe not, though. We'll try to take him out, see if he stays out. They got three cards in hand. We'll see if he can play them all before the end of the turn. I'm just going to cast an arc light. All right, fair enough. Finally, we get this. All right, so what do we need to do here? I don't know if we... We might be able to... Hmm... Debating on if we need to... If we can afford a turn to play Deep Root... I don't think we can. I feel like I might just have to play Water Trap here, just in case they can combo off and get out another one. We're getting hit for six. Well, we're not dead. Let's go Deep Root and try to set up. Because that's all we can do. Uh, I guess we'll keep swinging at Sahili. Now she can't use her ability, but she's still going to get her static ability going. Plenty of uh, servo tokens, that's for sure. It's going to be hard for us to win this matchup. Alright. Charter course is not helpful here. We're pretty much dead. Make sure that stays down. We'll take out Sahili. Pass to them and hope for the best. Alright, so they're about to get some bird tokens coming up. Yeah, buddy? All right, come over here. Oh, okay. You can come watch. 
Alright, so what do we got here? Six coming at our face? Alright, well, let's block the Electromancer, I suppose. And we'll take four. Well, River Sneak is a little too late for the most part. We're just dead here, aren't we? Uh, well, we can play both our River Sneaks. Get a few tokens. I guess that's our best shot. Mm, we could have played Nabeen, actually. Oh, it's a warrior. It's not going to trigger twice. Never mind. We'll just get our tokens and uh, stabilize the board a little bit. But for the most part, it's not looking pretty. No attacks. Still going to get hit for three, and they can just always bolt our face. That might be what they're looking for. Okay, bud. Alright. So, do they have the combo? Can they get the second arc light? Nope, oh, just had the two. So we go to one. Silvergill is not gonna do it, so... We'll go to the next game. Alright, so we need our counter spells. Uh, negate, spell pierce, transmutation, maybe not all of them, maybe spell pierce is gone. We'll take out Seafloor Oracle. We'll take out, um, hmm. Take out a couple chart the course. Take out Nabeen. So we got Kazminas to deal with the Phoenixes. We got Negates and Retorts. I guess we'll um, we could drop one land and drop one deep root, or do we drop two deep roots? Let's drop two deep roots. Let's do it like that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Kismina might be a good option here for this matchup too, but I feel like these are the stronger choices, so we're gonna rock it like this. You gonna watch? Come over here and watch, bud. Be careful of the cord. There you go. Getting distracted by spinning a chair. We will play first. Oh, that's a rough hand. I don't think it's quite what we need. We've got some stuff, but I think. We, oh my gosh! All right. Wow, buddy, that's super cool. Oh, man. Keep that on top. We'll play Ben. We need to draw into another Merfolk after Silvergale to even play it, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll do it like this. We'll be able to loot with Ben at least, see if we can pull into something else. I guess we could have looted then, but we'll wait till end of turn. Yep. All right. Well, let's uh, let's chuck our other island for now. We get one anyway, so that's good. Trickster, perfect. All right, we're drawn into some stuff. All right, I was gonna say, are they gonna trade again? Like this guy's pretty crucial to their combo. Well, if they get out of Phoenix, we'll take a little hit, but uh, we've got Kazmina to deal with the Phoenix if it comes out. Them back to me. Hmm. Let's go on the attack.
I don't mind so much if they see the Trickster, because the more permanent way of dealing with the Phoenixes anyways are the Kazmina transmutations, and we've got two of them. So if they see a Trickster, it's not that huge of a deal. Oh, wow, that's super cool. Alright, we drew another Trickster. Excellent. And they're all dead. Cool. Including their creature. We can reestablish our board. Bring it on. What do you got for me? Discovery. Draw a card. Surveil. Can you get the hits? Don't even have a phoenix in the graveyard yet. I'm assuming they're looking for it. Alright, so. Misclo killed. Trickster at end of turn. I'm liking what we got going. Solves. They got the phoenix in the graveyard. I mean, they know we have the trickster, so even if they do combo it this turn... Sure. So they got it. We'll tap it down, then we'll transform it. Put out the one they know about, tap it down, and deal with it. 1-1. One, one. Sorry. Let's see if they can do another one. Alright, so he leaves in. Can they get a token? Wizard's Retort. Okay. That's nice. Well, let's go ahead and attack. I think I'm just going to go for the face here. I'm not in a position to really kill Saheeli right now. Let them have their card draw. Double block. It's fine. We'll just trade. Um, yep, end the turn. Jump start. They can just jump start for days. Lamenting voice. And they got two in here. So we're countering whatever comes next. Okay, Lena. Wanna open the pages now? Okay. Open the now, Oof, that's tough, but I think we it's not the most ideal thing to to do. They could just have a, a shock in their hand. Let's see if they do. If they do, we're in bad shape. Those are gonna come out. Yes, buddy. I guess we had to trigger the, the one before it would have been the best one. Okay. Here. You wanna watch? I think our best bet is. Let's do water trap first. We'll take some more damage next turn. Uh, and then next turn we'll Casmina transmutation. See how that rolls for us. We're not in good shape, though. Uh, it was my misplay that took us. We had to we had to counter the second 
second spell, not the not the opt. So that was my fault. Mystic. Another water trap. We kind of needed to land so we can do Kazmina and then Trickster. We can only take out one arc light at a time here, so I think we need to bide our time and build our board. So we're gonna tap down another arc light again. No attacks. We are just not drawing into our lands though. That's part of the problem here. We are just not finding them how we should be. Just block what we can. We're still getting hit for a bunch. We need to land here in order to survive. Can we survive? Barely survive. It's not going to be enough. Not going to be enough. Good game. Alright, so our first game with Mono Blue Merfolk. Uh, we were able to stabilize a little bit halfway. I made the mistake with the not countering that second spell. Uh, I think they might have had it anyways, though. So it's just unfortunate. But uh, we did alright, but we were... We just couldn't draw into our lands, both games. We were just stuck on two and then stuck on three for the longest time. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed, though, and want to see me keep playing some traditional best of three, and if you want to see me continue playing the Mono Blue Merfolk, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more, and we will see you guys in the next video.